All right, guys, I'm back. What we're going to do today is just add a sound to a scanner. Really not all that difficult of a task. So I always seem to make it difficult. Um, what I'm personally going to do, instead of, you know, you can go on, look for WAV files all over the internet if you want. And I just like custom making my own sounds. In this case, it's really simple because I have FL Studio and I can just have the robot say whatever it we want it to. And so I did that. Basically found exactly what I wanted. And let's see this here. Let's see if this is the one. Dip by it. Simple that, dip right? By it. Just saying dip by. Dip by it. This one here. Dip by it. You know, however dip you want it to be. By however you want it to sound. And I won't go through the whole process of, you know, basically you're just gonna go to any trade and you have your scanner, which you would have made last video. And then sometimes you won't get anything on real time, but you'll usually get at least one um, on a weekend. So we'll be able to test the sound as well. And you're gonna go in, drop down menu, settings and right off the bat you're going to see you're going to check the box for play sound and just like you would any other kind of sound file you're going to just look for it on your computer once you find it got good old dip by fast spread here you can play it to preview it dip by it and hit okay hit okay again and then to make sure it's working correctly you can't really like go in the past like one day back you know obviously it's gonna be like yeah good old xxii we could talk about that all day um but you can go to real time dip by as you see when it comes up now of course it's kind of oxymoron here because i have my morning runner scanner and it's saying dip by but you get the idea i mean you can have one that says popping. It could be just like popping, popping, popping. Um, and if you're setting these for specific levels, then it isn't going to matter. Like my dip by scanner may be, you know, something in the morning, down on the day, at least 8%. And I'm looking at the RSI and its action. You're going to get to where you can tell, even, you know, just because it's down 10% doesn't mean you're going to get a, a good bounce off of that and uh, this is probably the fastest lesson I've done I really can't think of much else to add it's just going one step beyond and for now that's all I want to do I do have a couple more ideas to add to that but unfortunately I'm not set up to do that just yet so quick and painless there you go